viewers of Ozfish TV. Tonight, we're in the heart of the city, Melbourne, CBD. Out of the Nile East block, mate. You don't hide it. You hide it. Here, I introduce to you John. John, hang up. This man has unlocked the code to catching that big silver mulloway in Melbourne waters, mate. Yeah, man. You've done it? I've done it. Oh, no, I've done you've done it. it. I've seen the photos times. and you have done it a fair few times. We've just set up the rods. We're really keen to get into it. Now, this is a fish that you've really got to spend a lot of time researching, putting many hours, testing theories. It is a code. To all sorts of fishing, there's a code. Mulloway, probably one of the hardest codes to break. You've broken it. Here, we're on an extension of Port Phillip. It's the Yarra River. And this is where we're going to try and target them tonight. God, I hope we get one. We should. We should? Don't know about the size, but we should get one. We should get one, all right. Well, we can only try. We've got a lot of fresh baits. We'll explain a lot of things on the, on the way, like rig, rigs, hooks, baits, all that sort of stuff. But um, welcome to our journey to the Yarra River, catching the Yarramundi. Yeah, I haven't heard that one <laughs> yeah. in a long time. Yeah, Yarramundi. Anyway, let's get into it. Now we've got some nice, beautiful, fresh bait. But history tells me when we were fishing at the paddo, we used nothing but souries, souri fields, and we caught all our mulloway on that. So, every time I go mulloway fishing, I always bring them. It's just one of those things. When fishing, certain things, they just stick with you when you fish, and that's one of the things that stuck with me mulloway fishing, was using souries for bait, because we did so well on them. So make sure, we, even though we've got all the nice right baits tonight, I'm still bringing some of these. Trick is with souries, you've got to keep them frozen, because they go soft so fast. So I bought a bag of ice, Broke the bag open and I threw, my, threw the bags of souries inside the ice bag. Like well, I do my fillets. Pointy hook coming out the bottom, out of the meat side, the top hook coming out the flesh side. Running a 6 0 and a 3 0, half the size. Normally I'd only go one or two size down, but I, know, I, just, I like the, the smaller hooks, they've just got a sharper point. Our rigs are pretty simple. It's basically your Western Port Bay running sinker rig. With an easy rig, you meet a long leader, snelled hooks. Now, 30 pound main line, 40 pound supple trace, black magic supple, very easy to tie knots with. Um, don't really need to use fluorocarbon or anything like that. Um, or even tough trace, not fishing around rocks or anything like that. So we've got a lot of reeds around. Now I've got a 12 foot surf rod and some boat rods. There's some uh, reeds up here that are quite high, so I just need this rod. We do get a big fish, last thing I want to do is get stuck in the reeds. So this is to lift it up out of the reeds, walk it over to where we can net it and, and get it up on the bank. Grab our land based net. The offset, 1.2 metre pole and a secondary pole on like that. It's quite a. <laughs> if anyone's seen the show, I've happened to fall in the water a lot, slipping on mud banks, <laughs> trying to release fish, do all that. I need every bit of this net. I don't plan on falling in the water tonight. Well, while I've been busting my hump all day working, this one's been out fishing all day. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But for a bloody good cause, there's traffic here in here. Um, he's been smashing some squid for us. Well, when I say smash him, you actually worked hard for him today, didn't you, mate? Yeah, around six hours, six, seven hours. Six, today. seven yeah. hours to get five squid off Mornington. And that's where you want your perfect size squid for this sort of fishing, mate. Isn't it? Yeah, like if I could have got a few of those, the jelly beans. Ah, oh, beautiful. That would have went. Yeah. But we've got some. Got well, some, made up in the mackerel department. Yeah, yeah, you got some slimy mackerel, got some uh, garfish. Very fresh, these are swimming not too long ago. And that is a sensational fresh bait. Now, there's something in the bottom here that I really want to use, mate. I really want to put one of these on. Fresh garfish. 
That's a nice sized garfish too. Yeah, well, yeah. They're fun to catch, aren't they? Yeah, well, when, when the squid aren't working, yeah, they're Got pretty it. fun to catch. So basically, twin snell rigs, hook coming out one side, hook coming out the other. So they're nicely spaced apart between hooks. I usually use about three fingers to gauge that to make like a nice fillet, half a fish, a whole fish, or a whole little squid. And that's just perfect. Now that's a beautiful, fresh bait. Let's just see if we can get a, we've got a little silver bait here. Let's see if we can get a big silver fish with it. skin off it. By peeling the skin off it, it releases the scent of the squid. And that can really help you cause when you're fishing for mulloway. So basically this nice little fish here, nice little squid here I should say, I'm basically going to peg in at the top of the hood there with the keeper hook. I want a lot of hook exposure. That's one thing that's vital. And basically, you're just going to put it through the hood. If you put it through the head, they ball up. They don't look natural. So, just want to go through just before where the head, so the tube finishes. And basically, that's my hook coming out the front there. I've got all the ink all over me. With the keeper hook at the top there. Now, these Mulloway have big, big mouths, so they'll come up, they'll engulf that. And with these sharp, these are C-point hooks. I've got different size Snell hooks running. I've got 4-0 four, four with a 5-0, I've got a 3-0 with a 6-0, and I've got two 6-0s. I'm just trying to work out my own code down here myself, to see what works well for myself. You know, you've got to work, use what works well for you, and that's what I'm trying while we're down here. Because uh, John's pretty much already worked it out. Now I'm just experimenting. Okay, so a variety of the baits are set in the water. Basically, we've staggered our baits, some shallow, well, I shouldn't say shallow, some closer to shore, some out in the middle, some right out over near the other side. It's best to sort of hedge your bets on where you're going to sit your bait because those fish could be swimming up and down this river and you don't know where if they're coming in shallow, closer to the bank, over the other side. You don't know, so we've got to separate our baits. Got four rods in, so we sort of zigzagged them in the water accordingly. So it's just a, another one of those uh, combinations of the code you're going to try. It's set of baits in. Oh. Oh. 
solid fish, mate. Oh, solid fish. Okay, I'll take back that 80. <laughs> It's fantastic, look at that. Oh wow. What a fish, mate. That did not take long. What a fish. Not bad for the first to right in the water. <laughs> mate, well done. No problem, man. Well done. This <laughs> is a Yarramundi. Have a look at this beast of a fish. Oh, mate. Is it? Mate, we've been here five minutes. Oh. Guess what he hit? He hit. What did he hit? What was the first bait in the water? The bait that we never used before. The mackerel. Yes. Slimy mackerel. Fillet. That was a slimy mackerel fillet. And he hit it like no tomorrow. Oh. Mate, it's getting heavy. You want to hold? It's your fish. Yeah. <laughs> it's right down, mate. That is a serious... <laughs> Serious, serious Mulloway. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat your this makes me so happy. I've spent hours and hours and hours, like like John and many others, chasing these fish. For us to come down on a whim tonight, five minutes in the water, bang. <laughs> and we're about 50 metres away from our rods, so. Yeah, so. Let's get him up there, let's get this hook out, and let's treat him right. Yeah, I was gonna. Do, do what we need have to you got scissors on him? I'll do that. I'll do. Got me great scissors, always have them in your pocket. We'll get that hook out of him. We'll get this gear back over there, mate. We'll get, uh, get a couple of photos of it. Yeah, we'll get a quick couple of, couple of savvy snaps. Oh, wow. I love this. These nets make all the difference. Tony's tackle, look it up. Three, mate. Yeah, all we'll do. Oh, oh, 92, I said, but yeah, both. It's fucking cracking, mate. Okay, so we're going to try and release this fish back in the water, give it the respect she deserves. Wow, what a fish. This is amazing. I can't believe how quick this happened. There you go, matey. Yeah. Oh, you alright? Yeah, I've got to find a spot where I can get the water. She's fine, mate. There you go. Wow. That didn't take much. No, mate. It didn't take much at all. Oh, well done, get man. Breath back. Well Let's done. Get you one. Hey, unlock the code. Wow. That was uh, that code was picked in five minutes flat. <laughs> and I, you We're know, going, what I'm yeah. loving about it, but we never used. Oh no, you just, just, just no. I was like, I've never used it. Okay, it was the only fish available. He didn't want. <laughs> Slightly back for mate. Tell you what, I'm putting one on. <laughs> What a magnificent fish that was to see landed up on the banks of the Arrow. Mulloway are right through this system, but they are very hard to catch. We may have made that look easy. That was our first night and our only night. We tried another 15 times for one run. We spent many hours, many, many hours out on the banks of the Arrow, in other locations as well. There are a lot of locations along the Arrow to find Mulloway. Finding the locations is the easy part. Catching them is not. But if you don't mind sitting out, waiting out in the cold and trying different methods, then the rewards are absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching. Remember, there's always time for one last cast. We'll see you next week.